been playing this on my live stream, at least when the servers aren't down and it allows you to play the single player campaign, or when the game doesn't crash, I think I had five crashes by now, but it's okay, because I understand it's freshly released, so even though I paid all money for the game, it's acceptable for the product not to work. So say a lot of gamers on forums, like, it's fine, okay, don't worry about it. It's the industry standard. Alright, I see. Now, there were a couple of interesting choices, especially when you play with the Soviet campaign. I'm presented with the main protagonist, a mademoiselle, who is very upset that she is a doctor, and even though she's healing soldiers and she's helping out, she's upset that she isn't on the front line. She's like a spoiled kid, going like, Danny! Danny, why can't I go da 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 at the Nazis? Why can't I go da da da? Why do, why do I have to heal people, Daddy? Why, why do I have to heal soldiers? I'm gonna go da 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 da. And that's one of the characters you're supposed to sympathize with. Complete sociopath. I mean, she's got the skill of a doctor, a very rare and sought after profession. But no, she wants to go da 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 da. Uh, the entire game glorifies war, makes it sound like it's the best shit ever. And on top of that, I noticed that you have two dictatorships, right? Like the Soviet Union, very brutal, very horrible dictatorship. Nazi Germany, also very brutal, very nasty dictatorship. But when you go into Berlin, you get to see flags on every single wall. You get to see Nazi paraphernalia everywhere. But when you go to Stalingrad, there's barely any of it. There is a couple, all right, usually around public buildings. But other than that, almost no propaganda. I gotta say, Stalingrad looks exactly like uh, a town in Italy. People are happy, people are very well off. You should watch my Let's Play in order to get more of that. But, I gotta say, the piece of resistance, the thing that made me shuckle a little bit, has to be, has to be the multiplayer. Now, there was a previous historical game, very accurate, where you could play as a black woman in the Nazi military, but they actually managed to fix that by stop trying to have factions and now you have operators. And as you can see, you, you have a very diverse, very interesting array of operators here. Half of them are women. Now, I, I gotta say for a game that actually uses the line, relive history, and it's one of its advertisements. I, I don't know if you're actually getting to relive history by doing this. It completely takes you out of the vibe that you're actually in World War II. Now, I know that this is a game. So I understand if certain mechanics exist in order to improve gameplay. Like, for example, the regenerative health. Like, you hide behind the crate and your health goes back up. All right? But at least I would like the atmosphere to be World War II-ish. When I play multiplayer and I see all the women running around... It makes me feel that, okay, so if I go to a graveyard where WW2 soldiers are being buried, you're telling me that if I pick a grave, it's a 50% chance that I'm picking a woman? But, you know, like, here's the main problem with this, because they're saying, okay, well, we need to have diversity, we need to talk about the women that fought in the war. All right, fine. Absolutely, you should. I would love if you make a game where you feature this mademoiselle, but it's not just a reskin of a man, like, she's not suffering with toxic masculinity. We actually get to be told a very interesting story about how she ended up fighting in World War II. A really good game that does that is Iron Harvest, and I fully recommend it, especially the campaign where you play as the hero Anna. And even though that's not a game from history, it makes you feel that, okay, she's actually a woman being pushed in a very bad situation, which is World War which is a war. She doesn't enjoy for a second the fact that she is in a war because no sane human being actually enjoys that. And she's out there looking for her brother. The people around her recognize that she is a woman. At first, her teammates don't trust her, but as she proves herself, she manages to gain the trust of the people around her. And there is an actually great storytelling. It actually makes sense why she is a female character. If you replace her with a man, the story doesn't make that much sense. And this is when you make a great story and you have representation, but it actually matters that there is a woman there. In this game, not so much. In this game, it's just a reskin. I mean, if you replace this character from the story with a man, nothing changes. 
You get to feel the same array of emotions, like everything there. She's acting exactly like a man as well, within the story. There's nothing feminine about her. There's more feminine things about her father, who's actually concerned that she's a psychopath and isn't happy just trying to heal people, than there is about her. And then you have like another example, you get this Japanese guy, right? Which I would have loved if you would make a story about a Japanese soldier in World War II. Would have been great. Uh, do you know that the Americans were actually very oppressive towards Japanese citizens during World War II? I mean, they violated human rights by locking Japanese citizens up. And that would be an interesting story. I would have loved to listen to some of that. It's something that even a progressive could make, because they're not very patriotic. I mean, they think America is systemic racism, so of course they don't like it. But, you know, like th this would be a more interesting story than the same thing that we have played over and over again. Oh, we're going back to invade the Normandy beaches. Oh, we're going back onto the Western Front. Why not go to the Asian Front for a change? Why, why not tell me the story of this chica with the mental illness haircut? Why, why can't we hear something about her? That you actually make it in a way so that it fits with the historical thing. But no, okay, we're not going to do any of this. Uh, instead, it's just to please the game journalist to show that the game is diverse. And all you have to do is to make a reskin. And then it doesn't matter if your game crashes. It doesn't matter if your game requires an online collection to play in the campaign mode. It doesn't matter if your game is begging more and more money from people with, with season passes and pre-seasons. But that, that's fine. You know why? Because you got a black woman here and it's very progressive. Shut the fuck up or you're a racist, right? That's the argument. That is the argument of the video gaming industry right now. And by the way, do you know what gamers actually think about this? The first time they added women in a Call of Duty game, I remember the articles, a lot of gamers were very uncomfortable with the fact that you get to kill women. Like, there were a couple of gamers pointing out, like, when you get to that close scenes where you knife an enemy soldier and you have, like, that little cutscene where you push the knife and the... That was very disturbing for a lot of people. And I'm not going to lie, it's kind of disturbing for myself as well. I don't enjoy doing it. I guess I have an unconscious bias. I'm guilty of benevolent sexism here. I just don't think it's something that adds to the entertainment. It's pretty much like you'd have a game where you shoot children or you shoot civilians. It's something that makes me feel uncomfortable. And I just would, I would prefer if I didn't have to. But unfortunately, I guess that's not the same vision of the progressive game journalists and the progressive game developers. They, they don't believe in any of that. I suppose maybe now that there's other countries that are trying to make their military more progressive and bringing more women into the army, uh, they're trying to get people used to the idea. I, I don't know. Again, it's not just about the gender, okay? I would have felt just as uncomfortable as shooting civilians. I remember there was a mission in Call of Duty where you actually go into an airport and you have to shoot civilians. That made me incredibly uncomfortable. And, and I don't get it. Like, why, why do you want this in the game? Right? Like, you're supposed to have fun while playing multiplayer. You're not supposed to go, ugh. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'll keep playing the game, as I mentioned, and I'll talk about the historical inaccuracies and also the things that I like because there were a couple or a few missions that I actually enjoyed. And hopefully you guys will watch my live stream, and I'll see you guys there. Take care.